Hello, my name is Carlos. Um, I'm the session organizer of session 14, pre Hispanic navigation in the Pacific. And why did you choose to organize this session and what do you hope to gain from it? Well, um, actually, this is the Asia Pacific Conference and from, since the beginning, I mean in 2011 with the first one, I realized that you, the conference cover Asia and Pacific but not the South Pacific or even the Central Pacific area. So if the idea is to have like a regional conference, I say, well, I'm going to apply for it and then uh, try to introduce other areas in the Pacific. So the second conference, we, we were accepted in session for this uh, navigation in the pre-Hispanic area, in the Andean area, and for pre-Hispanic times. I, I hope this get more uh, research on the topic and in the area. Thank you. So that leads perfectly into my next question. So what you hope to see accomplished in your research area kind of say over the next 10 years or so? Where do you well, hope to see actually, we have a lot of expectations. Um, I think that in Peru, underwater and maritime archaeology, it's uh, recently developing. So. We, we need to get in touch to other researchers so we can share our knowledge and as well we can uh, share um, and get new information that we can use in our own research methods and everything else. So this is a good... Uh, I think that in the, in the next 10 years or for the next 10 years we being able to develop and have a great deal of research on how the and young people could uh, navigate, get into the islands in front of their coast, or work on long trade routes, or even for Hispanic times to know how they build and navigate in the area. How was our relationships with Asia as well? We have, we know, we have known relationships with Asia, like through the Manila Galleon, so we have relationships that are already working again in place, and working again. So what are some of the challenges that you see facing all of this? Well, the challenges are training people, getting people into the topics because they're um, land-based archaeologists and they, the archaeology has been giving their, their back to the maritimes, to the, to, to, to the seas. So it will be great that we can at least have few people coming to see, uh, to to face the sea as an area where our societies were developing. And on the other hand, uh, we need to um, get, get um, institutions to, to try to fund our research because they are used to see land archaeology but not maritime or even other water. It's not visible for them. So I think that's a huge huge um, um, problem that we have to face in the following years. We have hopes, of course. Um, are there any areas, be they geographic or thematic, anything else that you feel are underrepresented in your session right now? And how do you think you can address that in the future? Yes, um, we, we would like to have more uh, um, researchers covering the area of the Central America, not only Mesoamerica, which we have three, three conference, uh, three participated from Mesoamerica, but we still need more from Venezuela and Ecuador and Chile, of course, which has a long time tradition on maritime. So it's not that, perhaps not that complex like any of other societies, but still, I think it's enough complex. Actually, they are really complex. But we would like to have more, more researchers from that area and covering as a whole because we also lack more information you know, in Alaska and the northern parts of the United States. Any other comments? Anything you'd like to say? Mm, actually, that you people have to come to, <laughs> to the Pacific, South Pacific and, and, and help us um, on research. Not only, not as, okay, we need money, but it's not what we want, actually. We, we would like to have a place where we can share our information, our knowledge, on 
maritime um, and try to to connect it in the, into the, the the big scene in the Pacific area because it they have connections we still have to work on it thank you thank you